I'll show you each of the miniatures I bought, including the price I paid, along with four miniature kits. Timu sells miniature kits you assemble inside of a little tin. This is the roaming in Paris version. The kit comes with this little electric looking thing and three batteries, so I'm assuming there are lights in this somewhere. This is actually a pretty happy surprise because when I ordered the kit, I assumed that the container would be really small, like an Altoid container in America, but this is a nice size. Has a little dent, but probably won't see that. And then it includes all the pieces you need to make the furniture and accessories inside of the kit. It includes this simple display stand. I'll be assembling this kit on my channel some days, so that means you'll get to meet this cute little guy that kind of looks like a calico critter. There are two included, so they won't be lonely. All of the miniatures arrived in plastic, so I'll be removing the rest of them before putting them on camera. This is a nicely made shower. This little thing stays attached. None of the pieces move, but I really like the details, and the price was right. It's 112 scale. I really love it. everything about this miniature antique style sewing machine that's made out of wood and metal. It arrived in two pieces and I think it must have come apart because there is a remnant of glue here, but none of it is broken. And I think I'll add some more details to it by painting some of the dip Oop, now it might be broken. Nope, we're good. I'll paint some of the different pieces different colors just to add a little bit of detail and add some thread from here and you know just so it looks more realistic like it's actually ready for sewing. I really like the details on this blender. The top comes off so you could fill it with resin and clay fruit if you want to pretend you're about to blend a smoothie. This little piece doesn't come out but it kind of looks like it would. There are other color options available as well if you don't like the white. While we're on the theme of appliances, I got this little coffee maker as well. It's a bit big for 112, so pay attention to dimensions. It's not as nicely detailed as the blender, but I still think it's a great quality, especially for the price. As far as Timu packing standards go, these were packed really well, considering they weren't just in a bag loose, thrown in another bag. It's a little 10 pack of concrete looking cinder blocks. I have no idea of what I'll be using these for, but I wanted to get them because they're one of the most popular miniatures Timu sells. The color is surprising me because these definitely looked more terracotta in the picture. But seven pieces for two dollars, I mean, I guess they're pretty nice. I could paint them and give them a little bit of cleaning up. I like the variety of sizes. This guy is bent out of shape, so I'm just going to use my heat gun and see if I can, um, whoops. See if I can unbend him. When I'm using my heat gun on something that could potentially melt, I do hold it with my hand because if my hand gets too hot, I know I'm probably getting the item too hot. Yep, it worked. So that was easy. This is made of soft plastic, made softer with the 700 degree heat gun. I really love this cup and saucer and spoon set and it's available in a few colors. These are available in two sizes, and I chose the smaller size to be used in 112 scale. Some of the people in the reviews have complained that they're too small, but this is actually a perfect size for a 112 scale. The cup and saucer are made of metal, and I think the spoon is made of plastic, but it's hard to tell because it's so tiny. These are not miniatures, they're nail art, but I really loved the design of these stickers as tiles. So perhaps I will use these on a fireplace in the future or something similar as little miniature tiles. In retrospect, these are pretty expensive because I didn't pay attention to the quantity included. 
All of the items I ordered, including the kits, arrived in big plastic Timu bags, and I was worried that some of the items would have broken, but some of them arrived like this, where they were disassembled in pieces, which makes them less likely to break. This is a little scale, and this thing hangs off of a hook on the end, and the weights have a slot in them, so you can just slide them onto the little hangy thing. I could see myself painting the weights to look more metallic and maybe adding a couple different tones to the scale itself and really sprucing this miniature up by adding some more detail. This was my most expensive miniature purchase that wasn't a kit, and I am pretty impressed by the details. It even comes with a stand for displaying the electric guitar when it's not stored in its wooden box. It seems pretty realistically proportioned for being a 112 scale guitar. It has nice fine strings, it looks like it could be played. If I had to be picky, I think the neck is a little bit too thick and out of scale. But it's definitely a great quality, especially considering the price. I didn't know at the time, but you can buy just the guitar in the stand and save over a dollar if you don't get the box. I probably won't ever use the box, so I would have done that instead. This was supposed to be 112, but it's more like half scale, so that's a little disappointing. Let's see if it opens. It's supposed to open. I don't want to break it, but... Okay, there we go. I'm glad I didn't rip the door off. It does have nice metal detail inside. When you're buying a mini from Timu, make sure you pay attention to the dimensions to make sure it's the right scale for you. People often ask about my precision tip bottles, so I bought a few and I actually got six, but I already filled three of them. I filled the bottles with different glues and diamond glaze so I can make a nice precise line when I'm applying glue because I usually need a pretty tiny bead for miniatures. Viewers often ask about my miter shears so I picked up this set which is very similar to the pair I got on Amazon. This is the pair from Timu, and just like my other pair, you can change the fence to change the angle of the cut. When you're buying miter shears, make sure you can remove the bolt and replace the blade, because otherwise the blade will become dull and they'll become pretty useless. Considering the price, this is a pretty cute set comes with this little metal calibration tool for measuring things. These four rulers are plastic on the back, so they have a little bit of dimension, and then paper on the front. The mat is made of really thick felt, and I actually think it's too thick. Mm-hmm, too thick. I'm sure I'll be assembling this fancy tea shop with some customizations on my channel. This is the second most expensive of the four kits I bought. I really like the photo instructions. This should make it a lot easier to put together. I probably won't use this printed paper floor because it would look a lot better to use real wood. Oh my, nothing is cut out, so I'm actually going to have to spend a lot of time with scissors cutting things out, which I am not looking forward to. This little thing has tiny scalloped edges. I'll probably just replace that with a piece of lace because I do not want to cut any of this out, really. If you make miniatures or watch people make miniatures, you'll probably have seen people use fancy toothpicks, which are toothpicks that are carved at the end. So when I saw these little bamboo skewer type ones, I needed to get them to see how they compare to the ones I got at Target. Right off the bat, you can see these are much thinner, but I really actually like that feature because it's good to have a variety because sometimes my fancy toothpicks are too thick to work with. 
so it would be nice to have a smaller option. I'm starting the Gryffindor common room this summer, so expect to see some miniature wands made from these. This is the style of coffee pot that goes with the blender I showed earlier. You could get the blender in this blue color. None of these pieces open, but the lid does open on the coffee pot, which is nice. It's plastic, but it looks like glass. I think it'd be really cute to fill that with some resin and look like there's a full pot of coffee available. This is another miniature that arrived in pieces, but it's really easy to assemble and obvious how it goes together. This little end spins. It's a weed trimmer, although it doesn't really look like a weed trimmer that much at the bottom because it doesn't have the plastic shield, but it's pretty convincing at the top. I need some liquor for the little pub I'm making, so I bought this kit that comes with these very thin metallic looking labels and six bottles. I like the shape and size of these bottles because they're 112 and I like the variation where you have some of them that have the gold cap and some of them are amber, some are clear. The labels are so thin, I need to use a craft knife to actually peel them up because I could not grab it with my fingernail. So just stick this on a bottle and see how it looks. It's the tiniest bit crooked, and I don't think this label's coming off in one piece, but you get the idea. Some more miniatures for the miniature pub. This is probably in scale for 112. It's about six inches tall equivalent. Got a little bit of beer foam on the top, and it came with four, so that is a great deal. Plastic, but it looks like glass. I will also be doing a miniature French boutique, so maybe you will see this fancy iron in there. It looks like there's a hinge on the back, so maybe I can get this to open. I don't know why it would open. I'm not sure how these irons work. It doesn't seem to want to open, and I don't want to stab myself in the finger. Well, it looks like it would open, but I guess it doesn't. But regardless, it's a great price. It's made of metal. It's nice and heavy, and it has nice details if you're looking for a fancy iron. This pair of LED light fixtures is a good deal, but I think I blew the bulbs when I plugged them into my dollhouse transformer. They didn't include any instructions, so I don't know the proper way to set these up. I really like using nail art when I'm making miniatures, so I got these no-hole beads and these fancy metal filigree thingies. I could add these to furniture as little brass ornaments, and I'm sure I'll find other uses. I've never used this before, but I got this really thin tape for making fingernail designs, but I obviously will be using it for other things. I'm making an English-style pub out of a dollhouse that was given to me recently, and I think this black tape would be really good for making the letting on the windows, the Tudor-style window letting. I really love the look and style of this metal clock. It looks a lot like wood, but it is made of metal. Little pendulum swings inside of it. It comes with this double-sided sticker thing for hanging. Although it's a little too big, you'd want to cut it down. This clock looks great as it is, but I always want to spruce things up with easy details, so I'd probably add some resin to the clock face. These were really cheap, so I'm super happy with the quality of these metal cast iron looking pans. These pans would look great sitting on a stove or filled with little polymer clay food. I could imagine them filled with bacon and grease, and maybe some burger or hot dogs with the grilled charred lines on them. I do not believe I ordered this. It's the same type of tool that's in this bag, so I guess I got a bonus piece in my haul from Timu. Here's another kit that includes some tools and a dust cover. This is an ice cream shop themed kit. 
I didn't realize there were so many options for this same type of kit. I do think I chose the right one, although this teepee is extremely cute. I really like the color of these bottles, but they are definitely way too big for my 112 scale tavern. They are the equivalent of 18 inches tall. Well, they're the equivalent of about 16 inches tall, which is a pretty huge beer. You'd be pretty trashed. I really love this purchase for the miniature pub. It looks just like glass. And I actually can't tell if it's glass. I don't think it is, but it feels like glass. Teeny tiny little... I don't know what this is, scotch or something. I don't drink at all, so I'm not very well versed. It includes two tiny glasses, the bottle, and the stopper. I ordered two of these, and the bottom of one of the glasses is broken, and this was the only item that ended up broken in my entire haul, although all of the boxes were dented for the kits. Beads are so useful for making miniatures. I've seen these on the front of fancy modern stoves that people make from scratch. These bead caps come in handy. I don't have any, so now I do. That's great, but I've seen these used for a lot of things, although I can't think of any examples. Here I just have some small jump rings, these little weird crimp cap thingies, and some eye pins. Within a certain period of time before your order ships, you're able to add items to the shipment. So I added additional miniatures, including this little hot plate. I really love the details on this old tube set style TV. Even has the little indents for the handles on each side where you'd pick it up. I would probably change the image, paint that black, just so it's more realistic. The little knobs turn. That's cute. These, these don't. But these turn. It has the antenna on the back. They look like they pull out, but they don't. That would be amazing. That would be a crazy detail, especially considering how cheap this is. I'm very happy with this purchase, although I wish I had ordered more. I have some more booze for the pub, although I think Absolute Vodka is probably too modern for my 1800s pub. These little plastic cups are filled with fake ice and some lime and resin. When I bought this little wood-burning stove, I bought it because I like the shape of it, but I am very impressed now that I've gotten it. The door is open, which is a nice little detail, but I didn't know it at the time, but it actually lights up. Looks kind of weird with all of my studio lights on. Turn some of these off and see how it looks. Oh wow, look at that. I really love that. The color is great. It looks just like a fire. This is a very good deal. Very impressive. This would work a little bit better if the pages were bigger, but there are a hundred included and they all have nice small prints. This little notepad of tearaway paper. I like the subdued colors and I think they're pretty classy, so I'm sure I can find some uses for these. I have a UV flashlight for curing resin, but I like this one because I can just place the miniature underneath it. I thought the battery was rechargeable, but for $2, you have to leave it plugged in. This is one of the most popular dollhouse miniatures Timu sells, and I completely understand why. It's a three-tiered storage cart. Usually, people use these to hold craft supplies. I actually have one in my studio, but I'm not going to show it to you because it's very messy. I only put one wheel together because I might want to update this and do a little bit of painting. So I don't want to completely assemble it, but I think it's a really good 112 scale and it looks amazing, especially for the price. I have been trying to get this crock pot lid out and it will not come out. It's perfectly stuck in there. I banged it on the table and it came out. Comes with this giant spoon, which could possibly be used as a spoon rest instead. Has a lid that comes out. 
nice details. It matches the, um, you can get the blender and the coffee pot if you'd like. I guess it's 112 scale. Crock pots get really huge. I got these generic sanding discs for a Dremel like tool, rotary tool. And I got these little carving bits. Maybe you'll see me carving wood on my channel. And this is a plunge cutter. This is one of those miniatures where you could technically make it yourself by printing out the files or creating your own files, but I don't like to deal with cutting things out and printers and stuff, so I was more than happy to just buy these. It comes with five boxes and it also comes with miniature packing tape, which I thought was really cool. So you could just tape these up and they'll look even more realistic. Each box has a corresponding sticky label, so you can actually just peel these right off and stick them to the box. You don't have to glue them. I really love the quality and size on all the pieces included in this fancy little scale. It comes in a bag in a few pieces, but it's pretty obvious how to assemble it. It comes with six weights, and they can be stored in the little holes at the bottom of the thing, of the stand. Whoops, uh, whatever. I love watching Julie Warren and she has a metal scribe. You use it to draw lines into wood, so I had to get my own. It comes with one metal cap and then one rubber cap to keep the two ends pointy. When you're shopping for miniatures on Timu, make sure you actually look at the description to see what size things are and they also show photos explaining the size because these are described as 112, but they're huge. These one and three quarter inch tall bottles are more like one six scale. But if you have Barbies who drink, these are a good quality and includes 10 of them, so it's a good deal. My favorite types of miniatures are the mundane everyday items, so I really love this fan, especially since the blades move. I'd like to add some detail by adding some paint and maybe a little electric cord. I got some more tools, including this leather skiver, which has a blade that you can use to shave down leather. You can make it thinner for miniature books or upholstery. It includes extra blades. This is a fun mystery grab bag style thing where they include 20 random pieces from a photo. Some of them have a little bit of a shoddy label application, but others are quite cute. Some of these look like they're 112 scale and others are Barbie scale. I like the size of the small Jack Daniels bottle. Actually, I like both of them. I think these will look good in my little pup. I do have some plans to make a miniature basement someday, so I plan to use the tools in that space. I'll probably paint this chainsaw blade so it's more metallic and grime it up a bit, make it look a little used. I really love how these look in the photo and now that I've received them, but I feel like they are too big for 112 scale. Maybe the length isn't too big, but they're too thick and the handle's too large. I'm not sure. They're really cute and well-made, but the scale is just too big because I work with 112 scale and smaller. I got this 200 pack of magnets for cheap, a little flower hole punch, so I can maybe make some plants in the future. These white gel pens look pretty cheesy, but I read the reviews and people were happy with how they worked. So after you get the little ball rolling, it's nice and thick. Well, not thick, but it's nice and opaque. Heavily pigmented, good marker. And these were described as 112 scale, but I do think they're a little big. They would be about eight inches tall in real life. I'll probably use these in the French boutique and add some tassels to them and swap out some labels to just spruce them up and make them look more expensive. I really love making miniatures from scratch, so I got a couple varieties of earring backs for crafting. 
If you add a feather to one of the brass ones, it looks like an inkwell and quill. So long ago, I bought this little miniature drill and you need to use both hands. So I ended up just using it like this where I turn the end and it's a bit clunky. So I bought this little pin vise. It comes with a variety of drill bits and you only need one hand for operation. I paid a whole dollar for this little drinking cup that comes with a lid and I probably would not buy this again. The cup's a little misshapen, but it still fits on the lid, which fits nice and tight, but I think it's a bit too big and out of scale. It's described as 112 scale, but it would be the equivalent of a 9 inch tall coffee, which now that I think about it seems pretty standard for Americans, so maybe it is in scale. I have some more liquor bottles that have some nice details and are a good size. These could easily cost 3 or $4 a bottle, so $0.23 cents each is a great deal. This is a really popular and highly rated kit, and it kind of reminds me of the Square Despair's new dollhouse, although hers is 112 scale and much better. I have never assembled one of these 124 scale kits, and I know that they take a lot of time and a lot of comprehension of the instructions and paying attention, so... I may have bitten off more than I can chew by buying four of them at once. When I opened this teapot, I thought this little white piece of lid was stuck inside of it, but then I realized the bottom comes off, so I was able to open it and take that out. It came in four pieces, and you just stick the little top into that metallic piece, and you have a nice little modern tea kettle. Here is another example of me not paying attention. I thought I was buying a five pack of cans, but I was really buying one metal can that has a separate lid. It's a cute size, it has nice detail, it's well made, but I'm not sure what I would do with this. The quality on this miniature violin is not fantastic, but it only costs 78 cents, so you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to this. It's a little bit bulky, and it's very clearly made of plastic, so maybe I'll tuck this into my basement diorama someday. I wanted some variety out of my decanters, so I got this curvy one. I don't think it looks as much like glass as the rectangle one, but it's still nice. I'm really impressed with the detail on this little boombox stereo thing. It even has a battery compartment that has etched lines in it where it looks like it can open. This actually can open. The little door for the cassette tape opens, so this is one of my favorite purchases. I paid $213.32 for my Timu haul. I actually didn't realize I spent that much because I kept adding items with the one-click pay shipping. I think it's kind of hard to navigate the app and see all of the miniatures, so there were things I still wanted that I hadn't noticed while I was initially shopping. The four kits alone cost $85, but I found them on other websites for more than twice as much, so they were still a great deal. I think the quality is really high, and as long as you pay attention to the dimensions, you'll probably be pretty happy. I did eventually realize the washing machine has a handle, and it's pretty easy to open.